All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, I just, you know, I'm just chilling here, waiting for uh, Brady and one other person to record a video with me. Uh, and a room tournament started, so I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's just let's just record a room tournament. I haven't actually recorded a room tournament video in like a year. Um, if you're unaware, this is the website Pokemon Showdown. You should know that by now if you're watching me. Uh, but you can actually join the VGC room and they'll actually start up these random tournaments uh, whenever they feel like it. And, you know, you just battle against other people. It's actually a really decent place to test out some teams uh, as well as just talk to other VGC players. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I figured I would just record this quick one. Uh, and we're going to be using that Buzzwell team that I've been working or that I've been using on ladder. Uh, so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like on this. Subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. Uh, and we'll see how long this is. We're going to do our best to get to the end of the tour, uh, which, you know, as soon as the as soon as soon the um, bracket's up, we'll go ahead and do that. And it is single elimination, so I got one chance to get through this. Uh, also, these tours tend to be best of one. All right. Let's see. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter tour. Let's see if we can do a dent on this, uh, do a nice little dent on this bracket. What was it? We got one, two, three, four rounds, and then finals. Not too many people in here I know, but yeah, let's see what we can do. So, um, I actually quite like this team as far as matchups go. Like, this is actually really great for Calyrex. Um... Don't know how much I like Buzzwell. Buzzwell is actually pretty risky here and it'd be a bit irresponsible to run that on lead. Uh, let's go ahead and go with... I think Calyrex Grimmsnarl is a pretty fine lead. In the back though... Uh, in the back, I'm a bit iffy. I think Zacian works. No, you know what? Let's commit to the Buzzwell. Let's commit to the Buzzwell. I'm going to go with it. He's a fine lad. He's a great dude. I believe in him. And do I want the Zacian or do I want the Incineroar? I think I want... I think I'm going to want the Zacian. Okay, they ended up going with Indeedy Dialga, which is actually totally fine by me. Let's go for the Snarl, as well as a Light Screen, and we're actually going to be in a pretty decent spot. The only way this doesn't work out is if they go hard into the Thunderous, which I don't know if they brought to this matchup. It could be a bit risky if they did. Yep, they go for the follow me. I'm going to go for the star. Oh, no way. I missed the Dialga. Okay. Um, goes to the Trick Room. Honestly, that kind of that kind of really sucked. That kind of really sucked. Let's go for another Snarl. Uh, and I'm going to go hard into... Do I want the Reflect? I don't, I don't think the Reflect really matters. We can Spirit Break this Dialga. Um, if they don't... If they end up going for like a Helping Hand, that's going to be super useful. Because it's nice neutral damage. If they go for the follow me, it's whatever. I really don't need the Grim Snarl path, uh, past this point. I should have screens up for the remainder of the match as long as it's not too passive. Uh, but yeah, a helping hand would be very terrifying here because I could lose my Calyrex to a Steel Spike very early. Uh, and yeah, like that's not great. <laughs> There's the follow me. That's fine. I'm going to get the Snarl off. Hopefully they shouldn't KO me though. You go for the Flash Cannon. More or less bounces off as we connect the Snarl now, and I feel a lot more comfortable here. Let's go ahead and go for this, um, how much did my Spirit Break do? Let's just do that one more time. We're basically wearing out their, nah, I don't do that. We'll go for the Snarl and the Spirit Break. Uh, we're basically wearing down their Trick Room turns, which they function much better under Trick Room than I do, obviously, you know. Uh, here, one would imagine they just Snarl me. So I'm gonna go into my Buzzwell, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and attempt this Spirit Break into the Indeedee. It's going to be very helpful. Uh, and as I stated earlier, you know, they want this trick room. I could care less. And I don't know if I really see them going for an expanding force here. It doesn't hurt Calyrex much. And man, that could be, that could be really bad if I end up switching in on it, but mm, we'll just, we'll just deal with the consequences. They do expanding force. That's not, oh, that just bounces off. I forgot how absurdly nerfed we made this thing. Uh, there's the Spirit Break. It's going to be even weaker now. Let's go ahead and lock ourselves into this Airstream. Uh, so when the Kyogre comes out, we will be faster. And I'm going to get my Reflect off. Because they're likely going to want to go for the Parting Shot. Airstream, I might KO. I might KO through, um, through Protect. I could Knuckle to be a little bit safer. 
uh, but I get much more value out of the Airstream even if I don't KO because now I have the Dynamax, um, I have the Dynamax bug move and the Max Quake and everything. So they're going to Parting Shot, one would imagine, or they're just going to Helping Hand. That's fine. I'm going to get my Reflect off. As long as they don't burn me, I'm in a very good spot. Awesome. We're going to get this plus one, and I feel very good about the rest of this match. Because now, not only am I in like a position to just start taking KOs with Max Quake, um, but also like my Grimstar has a plus one speed boost, so I should outspeed Dialga. And that's going to be awesome. So yeah, I think I just Quake the Incineroar and Spirit Break the Dialga. Yep, there's the Dialga. If they go for another Trick Room, I kind of don't really care. Because um, I'm going to Quake here, and I'm going to go for a Spirit Break. And that should KO the Incineroar. Um, if it, you know, if they decide to protect the Dialga, now would be the turn, but I don't think they have it. I don't think they have it, yeah. I could knuckle and try to absolutely annihilate them, but I think they're just going to want a Dynamax, to be honest. Yeah, there it is. So this Quake should allow me to live whatever the uh, Dialga wants to go for, and I'm going to get a nice attack boost from this, so a Wormwind more or less doesn't matter. We get the Spirit Break off because we're faster than this thing. Let's eat whatever it goes for. He goes for the Steel Spike, which is honestly kind of smart, uh, but now I'm in quite a good position because this uh, Kyogre comes out, and I just go for the max... Um, I, I think I always just go for the max flutter buy on it. And if it's anything else, we're in a pretty good spot. Because nothing else in the back would run like Scarf. Yeah, alright, let's flutter by the Kyogre and go for another Spirit Break. Flutter by should KO at plus two. And unless it's Scarf, like, we're not taking any damage here. This is going to be very poggers. This is going to be very awesome. The, the Buzzwell is actually going in on the first game, which is awesome. I almost didn't want to bring it, but now that I did, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, no. Like, you never trust the Pokemon that's like heat until it starts being heat. Like you you honestly like have to justify it to yourself in the first couple of rounds or you're never going to have the, the guts to run it. So here we go. Let's decrease that special attack again. Uh, and I think we're in a pretty good spot here. That Kyogre is probably within close combat range. However, if we want to be a little bit safe, let's go ahead and just go for the Leech Life as well as the Spirit Break into the Kyogre, just in case it's not, just in case it's just barely out of range. That'll give us the longevity we need to do whatever we need to do for the rest of this match. Let's get all of our health back, and now let's outspeed it and KO it with the Spirit Break. Awesome. In comes the Calyrex. Let's hit it with that close combat and the Snarl, and that's going to be game. GG, well played. Buzz was absurd in this match, dude. He was actually absurd. Nice. Okay. So, that's going to be it for that game. Uh, let's see who our next match is. Uh, looks like our next opponent's still in a game. I could spectate the game and get some information, but honestly, I don't really care that much. This is a room tournament, like, I, I can do whatever. <laughs> so who would our opponent be? Let me see. So I just won uh, right there. So I'm going to be facing... Uh, let's just see how close they are to finishing. Who cares? Uh, looks like the game is about to end. Uh, I don't really see how they can come back from that, so yeah. Awesome. All right. Now, this is a little bit annoying because that is, your eyes are not deceiving you, that is a Zapdos. And Zapdos is very frustrating to play against sometimes. I'm going to go and lead off Calyrex Regieleki because it does give me quite a few options um, as far as leads go. Uh, I probably want to go... Do I dare bring Buzzwool? Buzzwool could be kind of nasty, but I'm kind of scared. I'm going to bring the Grim Snarl for sure. That's always going to be right. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 lock in the Buzzwool. Who cares? Let's, let's lock in the Buzzwool. There's the Grim, there's the Zap, and I can live with that. I, I really can live with that. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go for a Snarl, and I'm actually going to go ahead and... I think Snarl Airstream's a lot better of a play than people would think it would be, because I want to do damage to this Grim Snarl ASAP. Um, and unless it's like foul play, I'm kind of in a decent spot here. They're likely going to want to go for the Special Defense, or for the Reflect here. Not the Reflect, the, the Light Screen. And they may Dynamax their Zapdos. Who knows what could happen here, but the Snarl will decrease damage if they decide to Dynamax their Zapdos defensively here, uh, which they do. So I'm going to decrease this damage. Let's see if I get Thunder Waved. 
Uh, I don't get Thunder Wave. They actually go for the light screen like I thought they would. I'm going to get some decent damage there. And I'm just going to repeat that turn, essentially. They wasted a Dynamax turn there. Um, and I am going to be forever at a speed advantage, as, as far as I can tell here. Hopefully, they're Thunder Wave and not Scary Face. Yeah, they're not Scary Face, so should be good. I do get the KO there. That's huge. And no full para. No full para. We connect the Snarl. That's awesome. They also never got a Reflect off, so everything's in danger right now. Everything is in the danger zone. Let's go for an Astral Barrage. Or I could even go for the Will-O-Wisp here and be like totally fine, but I'm kind of more invested in just getting these, these sick KOs. So let's Astral Barrage and go for the Physical Max Lightning. Onto this guy. That's in range of the Barrage. Don't get full para. Come on. Uh, I guess like we could lose it here, but it's kind of whatever. The Behemoth Blade, the Regieleki, that's fine as long as I... Yes, I get it. Okay. Cool. So now I got my Grimmsnarl. I got Fake Out. They got the Kyogre. Uh, and I'm still going to be faster than the Kyogre. The only thing I'm slower than is the Zapdos here. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Fake Out on the Kyogre. And I'm actually somewhat tempted to substitute. But that's a little risky. That's a little risky. Uh, I think I just Snarl. And Fake Out. If I connect this, I should be in a pretty decent spot. Yeah, they're just going to go for that. I get a crit here, which is awesome. I'm going to go for my light screen and snarl again. Uh, and basically my win con is going to be making sure I just don't lose to the Zapdos. Like if I get rid of Zapdos, Buzzwell can clean up. So let's just connect our snarls. He goes for the roost. I mean, like I said, if we connect our snarls, we can eat whatever. There's the O-Pulse. Uh, let's go ahead and let's snarl again. But I think I'm just going to focus down Kyogre now. It's Life Orb, so the damage output's actually quite annoying. Yeah, I think I can do this. Haven't gotten full parrot yet. I'm confused, I'm paralyzed. There's the full parrot. Don't get fully confused, please. Come on. Alright, cool, we connect that. That actually does a decent amount. Um, and now I'm actually thinking... I Barrage and Spirit Break and hope for the best. No, I still Snarl. I still Snarl and I Spirit Break. I need to get rid of this thing. They protect it. I get the Snarl off. Do I? Do I get the Snarl off? No, I get full para. Dang it. Okay. I still Snarl. Yeah, and I Spirit Break. They connect the Hurricane, no confusion. I get full Parrot again. That's real unfortunate. I think I just lose now. Oh, that really sucked. I mean, now they don't have full accuracy Hurricanes, and I do still have four turns of Light Screen, so maybe I can pull this back if I Leech Life here and then get real lucky with Hurricanes. All Pulse connects. Uh, I don't think I can do it. I have to get real lucky here. Like, absurdly lucky. Let's go for the Life. They miss. Come on, give me some health. Oh, oh, hold up. Oh, come on. No, not like this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So how much did that do? That did, that leech life did stupid damage. It at 38%. Is that close? I think that's close combat range. Let's do it. Dude, Buzzwell, Buzzwell, you're insane. You're insane. <laughs> oh, there's no chance. There's no chance Buzzwell just did that. Okay, yeah, hold up. I love this team. I love this team. And this is another Buzzwell game. This is going to definitely be a Buzzwell game. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off with the Calyrex on lead once again and the Grim Snarl. Um, Buzzwell in the back, and I think we go with. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I just like freaked out there and now. And now my, now my throat's disgusting. Um, let's see. Uh, Incineroar. Or Zacian. I think I go Zacian. Big fan. Thank you so much. How close are we to finals? One, two, and then we're in finals. I, I got three more games in me. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Punch buggy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing about, like, Snarl Calyrex. It's so useful in the fact that you can just wall out things like Dialga if you have a light screen up. The only thing I'm really scared of here is, like, a possible foul play on Grim Snarl, but it's not terribly common. Sucker Punch is also quite annoying, uh, but we typically fake out turn one on that anyways. Something else that could be really bad is, uh... <laughs> Is if they end up going with like fake tears lead that that would hate I would hate that so much. Landris Therian, Kyogre, I can live with that. I can live with that easily. Actually, let me go for the Will O Wisp here, and I'm gonna go for a. Do I go for the fake out or the light screen? I think I'm gonna fake out this Kyogre. No shot, you Dynamax. That give me this Will O Wisp. Oh, yo, everything's going up perfect. He goes for the Quake, he actually does a decent amount of damage to himself. And now let's just spam Snarl like we have no life. Uh, and I'll go for my light screen here. There's Scarf, so that's kind of bad for us, but this Lando is no longer doing a lot of damage. Um, they go for the U-turn here. I'm going to be able to... No, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to get this Reflect off, am I? That's kind of concerning. I w or I, I would like the Reflect to deal with the Lando. Um... Because it looks like I'm gonna have to Dynamax my, it looks like I'm gonna have to Dynamax my Buzzwell this game. Um, can I do it? Can I do it? How much did my, how much did I take from Origin Pulse? That was before a Snarl. I took 48%. <sighs> Dang, I think I just handed over, and I attempted to go for the Reflect. Oh yo, kind of huge, kind of huge there. Go ahead and snarl me and KO me, I don't care. That's actually so good for me. Oh, he parting shot it. That's not great. Uh, however, still not the end of the world. I got everything I needed. I'm going to give up both of these things right now and just deal with the consequences of it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me go for the spirit break. They connect on both. That's fine. Let me get in the buzzwall. And, okay. This is a free call on this turn. Let's max Airstream and Sacred Sword, and they shouldn't have anything to switch into that. Sacred Sword will go first, so I'm going to get a KO with the max Airstream. There we go. Okay. So, no, you know, we're not back up to neutral, but we're still in a good spot. Um, I think I just repeat. I literally just repeat that turn, but with Behemoth Blade, and we should KO. Oh, he does have Fake Out. I am stupid. <laughs> I'm big stupid. Let's see if I can live this hit when he's burned. That's all I really need to do. He air streams. I'm going to tank that. Oh, easy. Easy tank. Easy tank. Uh, let's go for the knuckle onto you and the B-blade onto you. Do I? I think I knuckle and sacred sword, actually, because he should protect the Lando. And I shouldn't drop to this if I have reflect up and you're burned. Come on, live. Absurd. Stupid even. Stupid even. Okay. Uh, you're not living a CC. You're not living a BB. I hope. Oh, stupid even. GG, well played. The CC and the BB combo? That's, that's broken, guys. It's actually broken. I might make this a Patreon video, honestly, because I haven't really made any Patreon content, and I really need to make it. Uh, this is kind of annoying. TBH, this is kind of an annoying lead, uh, but I can go I can go Calyrex on lead and actually really mess with this guy. You can, I can really mess with this guy here. Um, this guy's complaining about his former opponent, I would assume. Let me actually see. No, because that guy didn't face him. Who are you talking about? All right, so let's go Calyrex and Grim Snarl on lead, I think. Uh, I actually quite like the Buzzwell here, to be honest. Buzzwell can be kind of stupid. And I'm going to get the... I think Zacian's good. All right, cool. That's effectively the lead I really wanted. Let's go for the Will-O-Wisp onto you and the Fake Out onto you. If I connect this, we're just kind of gaming. Nice, don't be lum. Poggers. 
Let's go for the Will-O-Wisp onto you and a Reflect. And I'm feeling kind of good about this game. I can't lie. Feeling kind of good. He goes for the Howl. Okay. Tank it. Burn you. Gaming. Um... And this is totally winnable as soon as um, you run out of Dynamax turns. So uh, here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get, do I want a light screen? I don't know if I want a light screen. Hmm. He's just going to airstream again. Let's go ahead and just go for the Astral Barrage. Let's spirit break onto you. It's just going to howl. Oh, he's got darkness. Okay. All right, decent damage. Uh, let's get in my Buzz Bowl. His Dynamax turns are now over. Um, it's in my best interest. I don't drop to um, really anything he wants to go for. So I'm going to Airstream and Spirit Break. He should fly here. Goes to the B-Bash. I love that. He's going to fly. Yeah, with the Reflect up and everything, I should be good. Let's Airstream again. I now outspeed him. I'm gonna get the Zacian in. He's gonna howl. Oh no, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Little does he know, Thunderous avoids the howl if you do that. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just knuckle you and Sacred Sword you. Give me that. What do you go for? Went for another fly. Uh, I can get him on the way down. I should live this hit. So Behemoth Blades, probably in range to KO. Let me Leech Life you in case you want to switch into Calyrex. Or maybe I just double the Thundee to be safe. But I'm out speeding it with my Zacian now, I think, so... Oh, I, oh, he crit me. You're kidding me. He got me with that nasty crit. Okay, that's a little annoying. Um, Thundee goes down here, though. And I do have fake out pressure. So. I'm going to go for the fake out Behemoth Blade. My fake out's usually faster. Okay. Let's do this. I still have my Reflect up, so I should be able to take one hit if I give him his Weakness Policy. He Trick Rooms. Okay. Hopefully we can tank this. This is going to be really close. Come on, bud. Oh, yo, he went for the Lance. GG. All right, cool. Very Poggers. All right, so who am I up with? Oh, it's finals. Okay, ready. Buzzwell and finals. That's all that really matters. Let's see if we can clutch this win. Let's see if I can get a clutch win here with the Buzzwell. All right, we're facing four legs. Don't care. Yeah, that's how Buzzwell is too, dude. Buzzwell, four legs. He does not care. Oh, yo, his team hates Calyrex. Like, like bad. Like it's like it's actually bad. Uh, let's do this. Buzzwool. And I definitely like Zacian here. It hates Incineroar 2 so much. Um, do I go for a sub here? He's just gonna snarl me. He's really just gonna snarl me. I think I just go for damage. Yeah, I'm just going to light screen and go for damage. Because I want to get rid of Entei ASAP. He's got Crunch and he's Scarf? I'm shook. I I'm, sh I'm shaken. Dude with Scarf Crunch. Alright, let's Airstream. He shouldn't have too many Airstream. Dude, if this is the thing that like absolutely annihilates me, I'm going to be so upset. Um, You know, actually, I think I Airstream into you. And get my Reflect off. <laughs> That was crazy. All right, yeah, there's a Soul Gallery. I didn't want to give him a dynam. I, I didn't want to give him any boost there. Probably my best interest here to knuckle. 
and get in my Zacian because I want to keep fake out for later. I mean, no nothing's fake outable, unfortunately. I'm about to get wiped by the scarf, <laughs> by the scarf crunch ente. Oh, okay. Just crit me with the Mindstorm. That's not great. I think I just lose now. There's no shot I win that. Ah, oh, man. Okay, that's GG. Yeah, we lose this. Or we lose next turn because you can just go for the um, the Quake. Aw, oh, that's a little disappointing. Scald. Doesn't KO me. Do I get burned? Get the airstream off. I mean, if I somehow outspeed this Solgaleo next turn, I mean, I'm just gonna lose to the Entei though. <laughs> that was like that was like my only out right there. Uh, yeah, Scarf Entei comes in. He goes for Sacred Fire, and I lose. Unless I get this dank Leech Life play. I'm not gonna though. They got they still got to turn a Tailwind. He could miss a Sacred Fire. He could be slower. He's not slower. He crits me again. GG. <laughs> Big oof. Damn. All right. Very sad right there. I thought I could clutch it, but the uh, the cat team just annihilated me. But yeah, um, it was a fun it was a fun video to record here. I think I, I showed off the Buzzwell team pretty effectively, uh, and. I, I don't have to put it in the thumbnail. I can literally just put like, I got absolutely destroyed by every legendary dog somehow. Who knows what just happened? In, like, I, I have no idea. But yeah, I, I might just put a prologue like at the beginning of the video and be like, hey, uh, so this is a video I recorded where I was just playing in a room tour and uh, I got absolutely wiped by, a, by, by the legendary beasts. So you know, that's the adventure to that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.